let's talk about completely edentulous jaw relations today let me give you a tip on how to adjust the maxillary wax rim using the maxillary occlusal plane analyzer now you all know that the starting point of your jaw relation is adjusting the maxillary occlusal rim how would you adjust it what are the planes of references would you use anteriorly you would use the interpupillary line and make your wax rim parallel to the line passing through both the pupils posteriorly you are supposed to choose something called as the ala to tracheus line what is that that's the camper's plane now the confusing part here is that which point on the tragus that is the posterior determinant of the camper's plane would you choose there are three points the first point is the superior border of the tragus the second being the middle of the tragus and the third being the inferior border of the tragus i'm going to quote a link into the caption check out the article which mentions the variability in the camper's plane This article explains cephalometric analysis in dentate individuals and corresponds it to development of occlusal plane in edentulous individuals. Now, which posterior determinant would you actually choose? Well, I would suggest you, according to the articles, and believe me, that's really true when it comes to the practice. The ideal point of reference posteriorly, somewhere between the middle and the inferior border of the tragus. the reason being that if you choose the inferior border or go beyond it you might land up in a reverse occlusal plane so inferior border is your boundary good tip do try using it in your next jaw relation in your next wax bite method until then let me tell you about the comprehensive removable prosthodontics workshop which we are going to come in the month of august in mumbai thane this time we are having a 3 day workshop more details mentioned in the caption go ahead and check out do connect with us for registrations until then peace